100 newly hired officers are being added to NYPD transit commands to report daily to subway stations and apply neighborhood policing practices here, growing bonds between law enforcement and the public and looking out for crime. They're responsible for the quality of life conditions. They're responsible for the turnstile jumpers. Officers get added to four transit districts, District 3 in Manhattan and the Bronx, District 4 in Manhattan, District 32 in Brooklyn, and District 20 in Queens. Two other districts got neighborhood policing back in April. We now have half of our 12 transit districts up and running with neighborhood coordination officers. NYPD says the number of officers added to patrol subway stations and platforms will continue to grow. We intend to and will roll out the rest of the, di the districts in early 2019. For police to get to know the community and for the community to know to get them is a good idea. Some subway riders say even though the same officers will report to the same subway stations day after day, earning people's trust could still be a challenge that may take time. They cannot do their job as well as they should under the circumstance that there is so much mistrust. NYPD says when this is fully rolled out will mean a 15% increase in staffing for transit enforcement. Live on the Upper West Side, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.